are you going? Our next adventure brings us to Green River Lakes in Wyoming. During this project, we would often go down by the lakeside and skip rocks and enjoy just the water. Headed off to the lake to do a little fishing now. Part of the time while we were there at Green River Lakes, there was a fire burning off in different areas in Idaho, California, and Colorado. And we were getting really bad smoke during this time while we were here. Time to scare the fish. When you're as little as Harlan, sometimes it's hard just not to throw a rock now and then and scare the fish. Harlan's first time fishing. Takes a lot of patience. Which Harlan doesn't have. <laughs> which nevertheless, he'll make a great little fisherman. We headed off to a different fishing location and this time dad came along. We were headed up to the canyon to start some fishing. It's a little ways up there, but we were bound determined to catch some fish. Playing in the water. And at the same time, got a fish. Little guy, but hey, they're the bestie. Caught our limit. Lots of brook trout. Now we're gonna head home and go cook them up. There really is some beautiful views here in Wyoming, here at the Green River Lakes. There's a waterfall just down below the hill from us. And the trail's real narrow, so gotta watch your step. This is the project site where we're working. You can see the bridge just down there on the river. It took us four weeks to build the bridge.
just coming down to the boat that we bring across every day to go to work. As we're coming back from our fishing trip, we get loaded up and get ready to head back across. It's about a 15 minute boat ride across the lake. I like the smell of good cooked fish. One thing about Wyoming is the weather can be very unpredictable. One day you'll have sunshine, next day you'll have snow. And that during that time while we were there we had a little bit of snow, got a little cold. The coldest temperature we had was 12 degrees. A little chilly. There's a lot of great views here at Green River Lakes in Wyoming. There's a campground, water, no electricity, and a nice lake shore that you can enjoy the water by. During this time while we were here at this job site, the salmon were spawning and as you can see, you can see the red salmon swimming in the water there. We tried fishing for salmon on the first day that we realized that the salmon were spawning. Didn't have a very, lot of good luck just for the fact that salmon don't bite any bait when they're spawning. So the best way to try and catch a salmon when they're spawning is you get something red and you put it on your hook and you cast out there and hope that they bite. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. After our first day of trying to do some salmon fishing and finishing up work for the day, we didn't have any luck trying to catch any salmon so we just headed back home after work. A little breezy that day headed out across the lake. This time we're back for round two. Try to catch a salmon. We both had poles while we were at our second round of trying to catch a salmon, just to help our odds of catching a salmon. And this time, we actually got lucky. I caught a salmon, and it was a good sized one too. I'll tell you, ain't nothing better than a good cooked salmon. We were just finishing up our day, fishing along the river, then we seen an old cabin on the other side of the river and so we decided to go explore. It's an old forest service cabin. Really, really cool to see. We finished looking at the cabin and decided that it's about time to head home now.
Every so often, Joanna would take the long trip in with Harlan to the job site to come and see how we were doing, and then just to spend the day out there, just watching us work on the bridge. It's a very long hike, two miles for a little guy. After Harlan and Joanna got to the job site, took a little time off and as you can tell, we have gonna go do a little fishing. When we were going fishing, we found a little raspberry patch. Mm-mm. Just had to eat a little bit of them. Real good. Nothing better than wild raspberry. Today we were going to try and see if we could get to the base of the waterfall and see if we could try and fish there, but as we were making our way through the woods, it just really got too rough and rugged for us to be trying to make it up to the falls. So we just decided to just go up through there and just enjoy what we could see and see if we could find any holes. After not having any luck, where we were headed towards the bottom of the falls, I decided to head back and made a stop by the raspberry bush again. And of course Harlan really, really liked that. I'd say that's probably his favorite part of the whole fishing trip. It's good? Okay. That is getting more. Not only did we find wild raspberries, Joanna had found a patch of wild gooseberries. She was picking them. She really liked them just because they were a little bit on the sour side. On our way back, we got caught in a rainstorm, a little cold. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. 
Yes. Who made it? It's Jesus. Jesus made it. So that night, we had a really big windstorm that blew through, probably about 65 to 75 mile an hour wind gust, blew down a lot of trees. And me and my brother, we had to walk down through there and cut up some trees so that way the trail could be opened back up. It was a mess. But we were all safe. You could do like of shining waters, mommy. Ganda ba? Apo. Nika. Ganda no? Apo. The night that we had that really hard wind, we had a tree branch that broke off and hit the side of our camper. into the job site where I was working. It was a long, long hike. Tra trail was very narrow and very rough, but they still made it. So when Harlan and Joanna came in that day, Joanna actually caught a salmon and this is the bridge the bridge that we've been working on for the last three weeks we are almost finished and ready for a final from our inspector
headed on another fishing trip. We stood by the lakeside and just watched some of the big trout swimming down through there. I was pointing out to Dad where he needed to cast his line, but the fish were a little spooky. So we just kind of watched them from the edge. Fresh mountain spring water. It's a real tough job trying to keep up with Harlan. He sure just keeps going and going and going. We decided to go try out another fishing hole where we had seen that there was lots of salmon. Well, we're gonna go catch some big salmon. Man, look at all those salmon. Well, that's a fun, fun fishing hole right there. And this is where we caught a nice big old salmon. 20 inches long, and boy, he was heavy. This is the upper Green River Lake and as you can see straight ahead of us is Square Top Mountain which is at I believe it was at 11,000 feet in elevation. After enjoying the views at the upper lake, we decided to head back to camp. We stopped back by the salmon hole to see if we could catch any more, but didn't really have any luck. So we decided to head back to camp and make our way down through a different route on the other side of the lake. It was quite a trip. The trail was really narrow, really rough, and when we had that big wind event, there was a lot of trees that had fallen down into the trail. Right now we're walking through the area where a lot of trees have blown over from the big wind that we had. And man, there were some big trees that were falling over. You want me to carry that for you? Okay, I'll carry that for you.
Every so often we'd come to a tree that had fallen across the trail and uh, have to f either find a way of getting around it or climb over top. Boy, it was real tough, real rough having Harlan along for that part because he's getting so heavy, but couldn't have missed any day without it. It was a lot of fun with Harlan. What do you want to do? I eat it and eat it. You want to cook it and eat it? Yes. Do you think it's going to be really good? Yes. Yes? Yes. Uh, you think they're suspicious. Oh. Do you think they're yummy? Yes. Wow, yummy. <laughs> they go, oh, mommy. All right, folks, here's the size difference. This is a... 15 inch size salmon and uh, male now this is the 20 inch salmon oh I'm sure tickled <laughs> this is a big salmon jaw here look how it's you can see down to the root of the teeth yeah Big salmon! Oh, you got the salmon! And he's coming to get you! <laughs> and this is what we did with some of our salmon. We made soup. It is a Filipino traditional soup, which is called sinikang. But it is very good. Even after some long, hard days, I'd still come back home and sit down and read books to Harlan. There's a koala bear. It's fun to read books to little Harlan. There's a cat. And he sure enjoys it. There's a deer. And what's that? That's a lamb. Wow! Oh, that's it! And then there's a fox and a rabbit. And they're all singing songs. Do you like to sing songs? Yes. Can I do this, yeah? La 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 la. Hello. 